Question. DS. What is the volume of the cube above in cubic inches? Condition 1. The surface area of the cube is 216 square inches. Condition 2. The length of the diagonal of the cube is 6 times square root of 3 inches. Solution. Now we will solve this DS question using the variable approach. DS, one variable, question. Condition 1 gives one equation. Condition 2 gives one equation. DS question with one variable. Let's look at a DS question with one variable in the original condition. Now, one variable would generally require one equation to find the value of the variable. We are aware that each condition should give us an equation, and each equation should be able to give us the value of the variable. So, each condition should be sufficient independently, and we should logically get an answer, D. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We have to find the volume of the given cube. Let A represent the length of each side of the cube. So the volume of the cube equals A cubed, as shown in the figure above. Follow the second and the third step from the original condition. We have one variable, A. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need one equation. Since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each, D would most likely be the answer. It is 60% likely that the answer would be D if a cube question like this appears in the actual exam, because the number of variables is 1. You should never use the conventional approach suggested by the official guide. It is way too inefficient. Recall three principles and choose D as the most likely answer. Let's take a look at each condition separately to see how this works. Condition 1 tells us that the surface area of the cube is 216 square inches. As the surface area of a cube is 6 times the area of each face. Area of each face equals A times A equals A squared. Surface area equals 6 times of A squared. Putting this into equations, we get 6 times a squared equals 216. So, a equals plus minus 6. But the length cannot be negative, so a must equal 6. The volume of cube equals a cubed equals 6 cubed, or 216. This solution is unique, so the condition 1 is sufficient. Condition 2 tells us that the length of the diagonal is 6 times square root of 3 inches. As the length of a diagonal of a cube is square root of whole of a squared plus a squared plus a squared, adding like terms, we get square root of 3 times of a squared. The square root of a squared equals a, so it simplifies to a times square root of 3. Hence, the length of diagonal of cube equals a times square root of 3. Putting this into an equation, we get a times the square root of 3 equals 6 times the square root of 3. So, a equals 6. The volume of cube equals a cubed equals 6 cubed, or 216. This solution is unique, so the condition 2 is sufficient. Each condition alone is sufficient. The answer is obviously D if there is one variable given in the original condition. So D is the correct answer. Answer D.